All right, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's gonna be doing another life topic type of video. I'm gonna be giving my thoughts on how to deal with depression. And so this video was suggested by Kim Smith who said, Hey Trev, uh, I've been depressed and down in the dumps lately. I know you did a top 10 video to help everyone uh, last year for how to be happy. Can you please do another one of these again? It helped a lot of people. Thanks as always. Keep up the good work. Great job. So I decided, you know what, let's go ahead and do that. We don't have too much to talk about with regards to Walking Dead, doing the fear videos. We'll still do some Walking Dead, you know, videos this week and everything. And if you guys have any uh, topics, send them to me. Any questions for Q&A, send them to me. The usual kind of deal. But, um, you know, I've been seeing some comments lately in the channel that, and I think it's a, I think it's a normal thing. I mean, this type of the year, this time of the year is definitely a time when a lot of people do get depressed because the summer, you know, is now coming to an end. We're getting into September. And, uh, you know, with that comes, you know, back to school for, you know, uh, younger kids or people under the age of 25. A lot of times it can mean going back to school full time for parents. It can mean sending their kids off to school sometimes for the first time, which can be very stressful. Um, you know, just kind of get back into the regular grind. The weather's not as nice and and everything. So it's just kind of just kind of how it is. So, of course, you know, it's it's normal, I think, uh, this time of the year. I like the Green Day song, Wake Me Up When September Ends. I used to love that because, you know, you have the summer. It's a lot of fun. You get to have a lot of time. Maybe you go on vacay. You do some fun stuff. And then you get back to it, and it's, uh, it's pretty normal. Me, personally, at work right now is absolutely crazy busy. So tons of stuff going on. Very tired and, you know, the usual thing. It's... It's normal most of the time. I mean, for most of us, you know, I think I think it's all about expectations. And I think that, uh, you know, modern day society, we look at Facebook, we look at uh, commercials. We, we're programmed by so many hours of commercials every week. We're programmed by looking at people's Facebook and looking at people's profiles where people... People always, um, you know, show themselves in terms of presentation as like they're all very happy and everything's going great with them. And nobody really wants to kind of put it out there that, hey, you know, things are not going well with me. Thing, stuff's not going good. So it skews our kind of uh, opinion of how we should be. We feel like if we're depressed or we're sad or things are not going well for us, we're having a tough time. Maybe uh, we lost someone recently. We, a friend died or a family member died or whatever happened. You know, we can be feeling sad or if we're just feeling kind of lost and we're feeling like without purpose, we can feel depressed. It's, it totally happens to everybody sometimes, completely normal. Um, but it's something that we, we think is a lot of times in terms of expectations, and a lot of it comes down to expectations, we think it's, um, it, it's wrong to be depressed or we think it's, it's wrong to be sad sometimes or to feel like crap sometimes when it's definitely part of the human experience, you know, in this life you know, you're born, there's going to be pain in this life. You know, as you go through this life, you can't expect it to all be, uh, you know, uh, rainbows and gumdrops all the way through. You know, there's certainly pain coming in. You know, babies cry <laughs> constantly. Uh, there's pain and growth. And at, at the end, there's pain when uh, when you're leaving too and, and throughout the middle too. Of course, all kinds of things happen throughout life. So it's totally normal, you know, I, I feel like, and I feel like we should say it because, with all this bombardment of marketing and everything where everybody's so happy, they're buying the latest product and they're doing all the latest stuff and uh, everybody on Facebook seems like everything's going so great. Uh, a lot of times it can just be, you know, it, it's, it's fake in the funk. It, people are not happy all the time and it would be abnormal if you were happy all the time. So if you get depressed or if you're not just feeling good sometimes, don't have the thing where you think to yourself like, oh man, something's wrong with me. I need to see, maybe I need to get some, you know, antidepressants or maybe I need to, you know, it's just life. You know, sometimes things don't always go well for everybody. And sometimes you don't always feel good. Sometimes it can be just chemical. Maybe if you haven't gotten a lot of exercise lately, I mean, it really comes down to a lot of times, you know, what doctors will do is they'll, they'll, they'll just give you, you know, like a, like a drug dealer almost. They're just, oh, you're depressed. Here's some, here's some antidepressants. Let's, let's up that serotonin. Let's just get that going. You know, um, it's, I mean, I personally, there are some people that need that. There's some people, it depends on your brain and, and, I've, and from what I've read, that's, that's mainly based on heredity. heredity. Some people have kind of more positive uh, brains, so, so they feel kind of more positive most of the time. People like myself, I have a more uh, pessimistic type of attitude. I always have. It's just, kind of, it's just kind of the way I am. I really force it and try hard to be positive, really force and try hard to be optimistic. Um, so everybody is wired differently, right? So 
sometimes you can have a hardware problem. You can have an issue with actually, you know, maybe having really low levels. But it's not that there isn't anything you can do about it. There are things you can do to increase serotonin to get some dopamine going. Dopamine, you're looking at like uh, short-term happiness. Maybe you go out with friends and, and you get a boost from that. Or maybe you go buy something and you get a bit of a boost from that. It's like the short-term happy. But really, I think what most of us should strive for, we wouldn't really want to be happy like that feeling can't always be where you're feeling up and you're feeling happy all the time like that you can't always be experiencing that so i think the thing to strive for in terms of a goal is to strive for contentment um which has the happiness too you have the the happy feeling too which is like representative you talk chemicals you're talking like dopamine but also with with contentment you're looking more at like a a feeling of well-being and satisfaction. So it's kind of like you're feeling good, but you also are satisfied with your life. You're satisfied with how things are are going for you. And how can you know, you know, where you're at with regards to your, then that will reflect your serotonin. So you can take a drug to make yourself feel like, hey, everything's good and I feel good. Well-being is going well. Or you could really work hard at your life and really work hard at things you're doing to increase your satisfaction with the day. You know, if you bust your butt every day, you work, you know, however much you work or you really, even if it's not like work at a job or something, like whatever you're doing, if, if you really, I don't know, clean the house or something, or you really get some, get a good workout in, you really exercise well, you really do stuff, you know, you just, you, you take the day and you maximize the day. Even if you feel like crap, use that Use the conscious, use the superego, push yourself, you know, say, you know what, I could just sit here all day, I could be depressed, or I can force myself to do not what feels what I feel like doing, ignore how you feel for a little bit, and push yourself to do something productive for the day. Push yourself to do something that's going to increase your satisfaction, which in turn is going to increase your serotonin, and if you keep living consistently that kind of way, you keep pointing towards a goal, so you have a clearly written uh, goal written out on paper. You have uh, maybe a deadline or a time frame that you want to reach that goal. Maybe you have many goals leading up to some kind of greater goal. You have a vision. You have clarity to what you're working towards. And then each day you're waking up. You're looking at your goal. You maybe put it on the wall or something in your room or put it put it somewhere where you wake up every day. You see that. Whatever it is you want to do. I don't know if it's lose 10 pounds, lose 20 pounds, whatever. Uh, build muscle for the guys. You know, oh, I want to get my arms to 18 inches or stuff. Whatever, whatever you're doing. Or I want to make more money at my job or in my career or whatever I want to do do um set it set it as a goal write it out figure out a plan to make that happen use the clarity the vision and make progress towards that goal every day try to do something towards that so if you want to get stronger maybe you do like i used to do 50 push-ups every day until i started getting some issues in my arms my triceps would shake and stuff from that so i kind of i i went through a little bit i still do i can still do 50 push-ups straight through without stopping and i still do that but but i don't do it every day because it uh, causes muscle spasms and stuff for me or, or twitching and stuff um but every day you're working towards something so if you feel like crap if it's raining outside or it's really cold and canada here gets really cold uh, especially with uh, you know some people like friends up north and stuff. Oh man, it gets really cold. But every day you're working on something, you're moving towards it, and you're trying to you're you're trying to increase your satisfaction with your life because you have your goals and you're moving towards them. That really, for me, I think that is the best way to deal with depression because really, depression when you look at it, it's kind of like a, a feeling of emptiness. People often use depression and sadness. The words are different, but people use them interchangeably as if they're kind of the same thing. So if it's sadness, maybe if you lost somebody, it could just be temporary sadness. I mean, you know, that happens. That's normal for everybody. If you lose somebody you, you, you care about um, or, or things just aren't going well for you. But as long as you keep a vision, you keep goals, you keep making progress towards your goals, um, even if you feel like crap sometimes, but you still do it. At the end of the day, when you go to lie down, you go to go to sleep, you're probably going to go to sleep just fine. You probably won't have to deal with insomnia, things like this. If you're busting it, if you're going for it, you're going towards your goals, you're going towards your mission, so to speak, your personal mission. Everybody, everyone, we all need that. We need a personal mission. Whatever it is for you, whatever you're into. If it's if you're a parent, maybe it's to be the best parent to that kid ever and raise that kid to be a badass or whatever you want to do. Or if you're studying, you want to get an A or you want to do great and you want to get, I don't know, your degree or your master's degree or, or finish college or, or whatever. Just having something to work towards to increase the satisfaction in your life, to increase your sense of well-being, to increase your uh, your contentment, and, and in turn, of course, you know you're going to alleviate uh, that depression. You're going to alleviate uh, these feelings of unsati- uh, being unsatisfied or feeling empty. And we always need something to be going towards. Even when you get to one level, 
you got to point a new goal and go towards the next one. We always need something, at least for part of our day. You know, we can hang out with friends and have fun too and get the dopamine. That's cool. But you, you always want to have something to work towards, no matter where you're at. It doesn't matter. Always something that's part of being human. We need that. We need progress. We need to feel like we're doing it. Write it out when you're done. We need something to work towards, to point towards. Otherwise, we feel empty. We often feel lost, and that could be the cause of our depression, that where's my mission statement? Do I have it? You know, if I was to ask you, where's your mission statement? What goals are you working on in your life right now? Where are you going? What progress are you making? What's your vision? If you don't have answers to these questions, that's why you're depressed. You need to have something to go towards, whatever it is for you. You got to have something. So those are kind of my thoughts on depression, guys. Uh, you know, look at your life. Look at what you're doing. Look at what's going on. See where you're headed. See where you're going. See what progress you're making. And if you're not making progress each day and you just feel like crap, uh, force yourself to, to change that. And that's going to in turn increase your serotonin. You're not going to need the pills. You're not going to need the drugs. You're just going to need to be a badass. And you're going to move towards what it is you want to get out of this life and build the kind of life that you want to, that you want to have. And uh, if you guys like the video, please don't forget to thumb it up below as usual. Feel free to send me any any type of uh, topic videos you guys want me to to touch on and give my thoughts on. Um, you know, I felt like this was a good one, so I wanted to do it. Aside from that, uh, you know, thanks for watching, guys, as usual. All the usual stuff. If you're new and you're just finding the channel now and you want to subscribe, you can subscribe at the bottom left. Like it, like I said, guys. And I'll talk to you again soon. As always, this is Trev, and I'm saying peace. Later, guys. See ya.